Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Split 2 coming at you guys with another episode of Gold Rush. We got Rivertown. We're gonna set up Rivertown today, boys and girls. Let's see how everybody's doing here. Let's see how we got. Let's see what we got here. We got Amy, we got uh we got Nathaniel, we got Pauline, we got Paul, we got Blazer. What's going on, guys? Who else we got in here? Let me scroll up through the thing here. All right, we got Brian Darling. What's going on, man? We got Gage. How's it going, guys? Hey, Viking Gamer dude. Thank you very much for the host, buddy. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Alrighty. Don't gotta spam on my scene, but just takes a little bit for them to come through, guys, with the delay on YouTube. So, thank you very much. Hey, Mr. Alex. What's going on, buddy? Oh, I'll catch him. I'll catch him as I see him. Okay, guys. <laughs> just, just don't spam him. Uh, so we gotta get we gotta get everything moved in here today. We're gonna we're gonna get this claim set up today. I have some family coming over here a little bit later. Um, I won't have the full you know five hours to play, but we're gonna get we're gonna get this thing set up. We're not we're not gonna take five hours to set this claim up. That's that's some noob shit right there, man. That ain't gonna happen. All right, so we gotta get we got you know, first thing first here. We gotta order some equipment over here. We gotta get this all brought over here. We gotta get this going. So, hey, bearded. Bearded, just butchered your name there, buddy. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up, Richard? We we ain't taking no we ain't taking no five hours to set up a claim. This is this is bullshit. This is unacceptable mining behavior. We're gonna do it the split in two way, right? All right, what do we need? We need all this stuff. We're not going to Pine Valley. Come on, man. Some fuel over. Bring over the big Jenny. All right, looks like we're good to go. Bring that over now. So I already went and got um, some uh, some of the stuff, man. So let's see. That's Hoffman mining. <laughs> That's Hoffman mining, man. Have I had any issues with the uh, the beta? No. Well, other than the gold being completely inflated out of you know all everything there's to talk about being inflated, right? <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's, it's pretty bad with the goal right now. Um, other than major issues with the game, there's not very many major, major issues that I came across. That's why we're back on live today. Hey, what's going on, Warrior Gaming? It's Adam. What's up? Yeah, we got um, some massive, massive, massive FPS improvements, it seems, on, on the beta version. So that way, it's uh, it should be a little easier on some of you guys' computers. All right, first things first. Let's get this plant together. Hey, how's it going, Peter? Brian Darling, what's up, man? The new pumps do look, they are very nice. I, w I would have to agree with that, man. The new pumps are absolutely amazing addition to the game. Uh, they did a good job on them. I still do not know which one I'm gonna use. Um, whether I like the nostalgia of the fuel or the, electric, the electric one, it's, it's kind of like up in the air for me, man. Oh man, did you just fart in my channel, bro? Already? First five minutes and someone farted. Fuck. God damn it. Son of a bitch. I need to put some depends on you motherfuckers. God damn. Fuck. Fucking farting in my goddamn channel. Why don't I play more graphic intensive games? Well,. Considering I started out streaming Gold Rush, and that's what my channel's pretty much been founded on, I really haven't branched out to play any other games yet. So, but those are coming on the channel. Trying to find, we're trying to find another game for the channel that everyone likes, right? But we got a whole bunch of Gold Rush junkies in here, so I don't mind playing Gold Rush um, three days a week. It doesn't bother me at all. I know that's what a lot of people want to see me play is Gold Rush, because, well, nobody out there is playing like I do. Hey, what's up, Dfresh? How's it going, man? Oh, wait a minute. It's the beast. Playing. That's it. 
I'm shutting the stream down. Someone just said play Fortnite. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Hey, what's up, Christian? How's it going, man? I'm doing pretty good, Defresh, man. Everything's everything's going pretty well. Other than I know I have to lift this bastard, and this one he sucks, so. Let's uh figure this out here. Smash it. This is the uh the bane. For Fortnite is horrible, dude. I can't I can't do it, man. I, I'm not gonna jump on the Fort Fortnite nutsack bandwagon. It ain't gonna happen, dude. I I ain't fucking selling out, dude. That's selling out, man. I'd rather do freaking like, you know. I'd rather do like clickbait out the butthole than play Fortnite. Saying. It's not gonna happen. I'd rather rub icy hot on my nutsack. For it's too I can't do it. Uh, nope, can't do it. Not gonna happen. Don't do Fortnite. No. Exactly, man. I can't do that, dude. I can't do it to myself. It's just, it's not gonna happen. The only time that game's getting played is if I'm drunk. That's all. That's that's all. It's gonna happen. What about PUBG? Yeah, there'll be some more PUBG on the channel. That's for sure, man. Um, <laughs> I tried playing PUBG. Just not very many people watched, so. That's alright, man. That's okay. We even brought you guys chicken dinners. Every stream I've streamed for uh, PUBG, we've gotten a chicken dinner. Okay? Unacceptable behavior. Unacceptable behavior from you guys. Come on. We bring you chicken dinners, and that's how, that's how it is? I see. I see. I see how it is. Alright, we got lift number one. Oh gosh, this thing's gonna get out of control quick. I should've used the short cables. Do drugs, not Fortnite. I agree, Blazer, dude. I agree. I so agree, man. I'd rather just sit and smoke a blunt and not play Fortnite, okay? <laughs> Come on. Oh, Fortnite. Oh, my gosh. You guys got me all raged out right now, man. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I'm about ready to have, like, I'm about ready to have, like, an, an episode here. Hey, hey, Mr. Mud Wars, what's up, buddy? All right, if this thing goes into place, we're we're doing we're doing good here today. Is he gonna be nice to me? Huh? Oh my gosh! Like I knew what I was doing. Hey, how's it going, Chase? I would just like to thank everybody for coming in here today. I know we're doing some uh, basic. Um, you know what I mean? Just some basic setup, but we're not going to take four hours like everybody else. That's that's not cool, man. It looks like my power generator got delivered on its side. That's just great. Hey, what's going on, DJ Deeker? How's it going, man? We got Mr. Alphabets. It's pineapple time. That's right. That's a safe word. Too much, too much split. You just say pineapple, and 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 I'll I'll I'll, I'll calm down a little bit. Just a little though, not too much. All right, we gotta get the sluice rungs in. Well, it looks like I only brought one sluice rung, apparently. Okay, well, that's that's nice. Fortnite is for eight-year-old kids. I would agree, man. It's just not my... Uh, that's not my demographic for my channel. Um, we like old people here. Um, you know? You wear depends and... You know, it's, we, we cater towards you. We cater towards the old people, man. That's just how it is. Would I ever emulate all the old games? Uh, no, nah, man, I don't, I don't like living in the past. That's that's more of an icy hot situation again. Rather, rather just put myself out of my ball sack. That's just not gonna happen. The Nugget Trap is on beta. I'm not in the beta right now. Uh, this is live version. Uh, we've already kind of pretty much showed everything that was in the beta footage. Um, you know, there's not much to the game that's actually broken. It's only... The gold that's broken really for me I, I i see that's probably why they actually held off on launching the game was the broken ass um gold well yeah i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of old games i mean not trust me don't knock it i've played a lot of those old games throughout the years it's just uh you know 
trying to find something you know everyone's playing all the new games right so you got i just i gotta find something that's gonna fit me that i want to pull my hair out playing um as well as you know h1z1 play the h1z1 right, we'll slap this in and then i'll get the um the other ones in man I, I i just don't know how long it takes people so long to put this together i couldn't make you guys suffer through a five hour stream setting up a claim come on man it's bullshit it's not gonna happen maybe if i took like 20 doobie breaks it might happen i don't know there we go It was me, officer. I, sw I swear I did it. Wait, are you supposed to say you didn't do it? No. Just admit to it right away. And then blame it on your friend. Hey, boss dude. Thank you very much for the kind words, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could add multiplayer, but sadly, no multiplayer. All right, where in the hell did my other sluice rung go? Okay, it's on the other side. Is that it? Maybe? Okay, there it is. I was like, where did it go, man? Let's just put it somewhere. We like to put those in first, so we'll grab two of them at a time. And we'll go in there and we'll just kind of swing it around and see what happens. Hey, what's up, Gary and Kingham? How's it going, buddy? How you doing, man? Do more Sea of Thieves. Okay, you guys have been asking for Sea of Thieves a lot, man. I'm, I'm not, it's not, it's not going on deaf ears here. I, I do hear it. I do hear the Sea of Thieves. I'm doing absolutely fantastic. I just wish I didn't have these allergies going on. That's why I'm sniffing. I swear I'm not doing cocaine or anything. I'm not doing goddamn God damn it. It's not cocaine, I swear. Just got a runny nose. Thanks, Brian, dude. I appreciate that, man. All the kind words, all the support. I would just like to give a big giant thank you to all the people who sponsored this last uh few days thank you guys very much all those donations coming in i definitely felt the love for sure thank you guys very much for joining up on the window liquor club home of the tide pods all right let's get this one in place am i using the new equipment no then we're not we're not on the beta right now guys live version of the game Notice it's day 126. We're not using the uh, the new stuff. We're coming back to set up Rivertown, and we're gonna start mining that way. When the beta does go to live, we will go ahead and be ready to go on live. Um, that way, I don't have to make a new save, and we're good to go. Right, continue with the season. Try to get us to day 150 before the game completely shits itself. I appreciate the thought, man. It's hitting that like button, sharing the video, all those things like that is just as important. You know what I mean? It's just here to have fun, guys. You don't got to feel obligated to do those things, but I do appreciate it. You know what I mean? Helps out. I'll see if we can slap one in at a time here. Or just if not, we're just going to start swinging things. Something will make it. Yep, there's one. Yep, see, no problem. Here we go. Let's just let's just swing this beast. around there you go come on if not something's gonna break we're gonna break something just either flip upside down or get in your hole 
Oh, shit! Almost just killed somebody. Oh, gosh. We need a better angle at this. Damn, dude, you should stop, you know, going to all those porno sites, man. You would stop losing all your money, dude. Come on, man. Just get in your hole, you dirty bastard. Yeah, definitely need a better angle. That's not the way I do it. I just swing things around. Some some will find its hole. I need to put it on the different end. Different side. Come on, man. It's always too short, right? Let's go, let's go. You on this end. And you can come over on ascent. See if we can get the spin, man. Now, now you're too short. I you son of a bitch. There's more than one way to do this. All right, come on, ready? Just use your hard hat. Let's go. Son of a bitch. One more swing, one good swing, come on. Of course, I hate putting this loose boxes in here. Come on, man. Oh, looks like it's gonna turn into a 10 hour stream. Get in your hole, bitch. There we go. That was a pain in the ass, man. Whew. Didn't want to go in there. Yeah, man, I just gotta put a little hair around it to find that hole, dude. Oh, gosh, man. It's not working. Would be a lot better. Drive up, drop it over the top. <laughs> you know me, man. I'll just smash it with a hammer or something, dude. It'll go in. Just smack it with a hammer or like, or just throw something at it, you know, it'll, it'll work. We'll get it there. Am I going to do a cleanup? Well, well, let's get this plant together and, uh, we'll do something here. We'll try to get to a fast cleanup. We can get a little dirt move today. If I was streaming for my full five hours, for sure, I'd be getting the, getting the cleanup today. But uh, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, Matthew, yeah, the gold bars. Um, yeah, when, even if they fall out of the back of your truck, when you go to the bank, you can still always find them. They'll always be the... You'll never actually lose them, even though they fall on the ground. Come on, come on. No one solid cleanup like it did on the other? Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that again, guys. That was a, um, a one-timer type of thing, man. 
Hey, Johnny Dude, thank you very much for the uh, sub there, buddy. I right, appreciate that, man. Welcome to the Winner Club, bud. Lift. Get it right down. I should be able to push this one in place. Nope. Or I'm too short. Again. Damn it. Hey, Evan, dude. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that, too. Welcome, welcome. Likewise, buddy. Welcome to the Wind Alert Club, man. Fine, hell. Just hooking everything up backwards today, apparently. Yeah, boy. Come on, man. We'll just set it there. You gotta be kidding me. Too short. Damn, damn it. You got... See, everyone's like, this game is so relaxing. I'm just like, I hate this game. Bullshit. Dirty bastard. You should be able to swing it now. Spin around. Let's do it. Come on. And in place. Oh, that one that looked a little off but hey we'll take it all right let's rock this trauma in place now then we go gravel pumps tearing it up then we'll start running cables and running wires and yeah we should be able to dig today uh we should be able to get a clean out of some sort today we'll see what type of wars we are it's backwards it's it locked in place. It works. I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. It clicked in, bro. Yeah, I, I would agree, guys. It's um the old Arnold was kind of like a I kind of was taking a break on on the game there, guys, when I was doing the whole one claim, one cleanup. But we're going to get back to the normal gold rush format of, you know, Coming in and doing the cleanups probably once a day or maybe once a week sometimes. Depends on if we're going for like an event or... If we're going to do an event for the week, I'll hold off and we'll do it at the end of the week. What's the story behind uh, the name Split in Two? Um, hashtag Ask Your Mom, bro. She might be able to give you some info. She'll be like, hey mom, what's Split in Two? That's right. Happens. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. Little Weeder just came out swinging, dude. Oh, I love you guys. Big piece, here it comes. Oh, we're driving in reverse. That's what that beeping sound is. Hey, what's up, Luke? Hey, what's up, Matt? How's it going, guys? Welcome, welcome. Hope I'm just having a really good weekend, Easter weekend. Oh, gosh, I don't. This is. Oh, God, we're in. Oh, man, we're going backwards. Travis Lee. Oh, dude, we're not going to be able to reach that. Why'd I do this to myself? <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, what's up, Luke? Dude, thank you very much for the uh, sub there, buddy. Welcome to the channel, man. We're going to break some more cables here. Oh, God, don't do this to yourself. What are we doing? Back up. Back up. Two cables left. Let's take it around the corner and go from the top. It's not going to fit up there. Learn my lesson right now. Oh, do you present the kind words, man? Let me 
me swing this around so you guys don't have to hear that annoying beep. Let's get this going here. All right, 30 minutes in, 25 since the beginning of the launch here. Oh, nice, nice. We're making some good time. Making good timing. Not much, just kicking it. I think I got to rotate this thing. I do. It ain't going in this way. It doesn't fit that way, dummy. How many split and twos does it take to screw in a light bulb? Fucking obviously 50. Shit. Dumbass. Uh, okay. Well. So, so that's so that's how it works, right? I I pull it out of here, and it's it's just the right length, and I let go of it, and it's like, yeah, hey, fuck you, buddy. Lick your ass. Let's see how it is. So, well, it's not gonna fit. Don't cross the stream. Don't do it. All right. Get this thing to spin around here. You can do it. Man, it would help if I was using four. Okay, let's just drop this thing right down here. Nope. Didn't want to fit. All right, well, see how it is. Nope, doesn't want to go in sideways either. Come on. Come on. You're so close. Come on, man. Oh, is it spun the wrong way, too? No, it can't be. There we go. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, man. What am I doing? I am just setting up the tier three, trying to get it all uh, banged off here. We just got a couple more uh, things to hook up and then we'll hook up all the cables. We'll run the cable management. We'll get everything fueled up. We'll get a Frank over here and we'll start moving some dirt, boys. That's right. Start moving that dirt. I gotta go get some hog pans though, so. Gotta grab a couple hog pans. Let's see what else we got. Got to move a couple fuel containers. We got to move in the uh, big, big Jenny. We got one there. Where's the other one at? I swear I moved them both. Yeah, we're just setting up for the day. We got a, uh, you know, obviously people you have to set up. So I asked yesterday, the other day, what people wanted if they wanted to watch me uh, do it, the, do the setup, or have me do it off stream. It seemed like everybody wanted to watch me do the setup, so that's good. I appreciate it. All right, what do we got here?
So you guys just didn't transport it. Uh, two more, and then I gotta run into town. And I gotta grab the, um, you know, the little crappers. Grab a couple mats. We're gonna try to keep this claim as clean as possible well, as well. That way we can uh, get through it. We can get through the claim without having too, too much problems with the uh, lag and everything like that. Performance issues, that'd be nice. Hey, Mr. Super. What's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome, man. Hey, hey what's up? What's going on, Hunter? Let's grab this one too. Slam them in place. Two at a time. Let's just drag them over there. Hey, Mr. Marty Higgins, dude. Thank you very much for the host, man. I appreciate that, dude. As always, man. Coming on and with with us hosts. Come on, just just dingle in the dangle here. That's all we need. Just need you to flop in your hole. Don't be a floppy hole. Get in your get in your hole. Just get in your hole. Okay, hold on. If I swing it hard enough, it might work. Yep, yep, there's one. Hey Leon, how's it going, buddy? Oh, there we go. See, no problem. We got this. We got this. Be happy my equipment doesn't take damage. <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> I beat the ever living crap out of it, dude. I don't even care. I will take advantage of no repairs. All right, well, I think that's everything other than the uh, hog pans and hooking up all the electrical. So we'll go ahead and go get all that stuff. I'll go take a trip into town. Get this crap out of my truck. Try not to make a mess everywhere on the clam because I got to pick the stuff up and get rid of it. Save often, boys and girls, save often. I foresee great repair costs coming in my future. Yeah, man, with all this money, dude, I, I don't even care, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy a do uh, excavators. And I'm just gonna have a dozer on the claim and every time an excavator goes down, I'm just gonna push it into a hole. I'm just gonna have a pile of them, man. And I'm gonna just dump a whole bunch of gas on them and just burn them. Fucking dumpster fire. That's right. Oh, that's right. How the hell do you get out of here? Yeah, I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to uh, seeing more beta footage, but I mean, literally, I, there's nothing else I could really show you guys. Um, a lot of you guys were asking about the gold jar that was sitting on my tent in pine not pine, not pine valley that was uh, old arnold you guys were asking where that what that was i'd imagine that's kind of like an achievement system or, or something like that because i i don't know a lot of people said they, they didn't have one and i was like well because you're not splitting two man you're not that special you don't get a fucking gold jar you don't get a you don't get a thing full of gold oh okay phew thought we were gonna crash
Ah, oh, what? Really? Come on, Bush. Alright, so we gotta get water pumps. We gotta get... Ooh, maybe I should just go over to uh, Old Arnold. Yeah, I probably should just go over there. Am I still playing on open beta? No. I am not on open beta. This is back to the live version of the game. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's just swing over to uh, Old Arnold here. We'll go grab some stuff over there. Ah, oh, Liam, man. Dude, that's that's bum, man. I've only ever had that happen a few times. I've only ever had one corrupted save. Um, and it was very, very early off. Uh, so it has not happened, thankfully. I've crossed my fingers that it doesn't happen again. Yeah, save often. <laughs> save all the time. As many times as don't wait for the autosave. Do not wait for the autosave at all. Yeah, I went on. I went on and used Mike's my, my current save on the beta, uh, which is this one that I'm playing on now. I backed everything up, so I had no problems. All I had to do was go back and uninstall, and my game and everything like that was just good to go. So no, no issues. Uh, yes, when the new when it comes out, I will be upgrading Rivertown guys. So with all the new stuff, I'm just grabbing this stuff for now um, So that way when the new stuff comes out and the patch goes live all I'll, what I'll do is I'll go in and upgrade everything like that well, That's my that's my plan with what the hell Okay, that's kind of weird Oh yeah, I forgot. Make sure you disconnect hoses before you transport stuff from one claim to another. That can cause a lot of issues. These cables are probably just all over the place now. Okay. Well, that's awesome. That's great. Just, just fantastic. Way to go, buddy. Why am I not? Well, because it's live. This is live. It's not beta. The, the pumps, they're nice. I like the way they look and stuff like that, but is that actual how the pressure and everything works? I don't know. That's yet to be uh, determined here. All my viewers that are in here looking like that, they don't, they, they, they saw everything that they wanted to see on the beta. There's no, there's no point in me wasting more time on the beta um, at the moment. When I already showed everybody everything. So if you want to go check out the beta footage, the beta footage is there. It's actually on this claim. I use a little bit of everything and just kind of wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There you go. It's done. All right. There's no need to dwell in the beta when we have shit to mine. So yeah, we got a mine to set up. We got gold to dig, all that good stuff. Hey, what's up, brother? How's it going, Blazer? Grab all this stuff because we know we're going to need it, all right? Yeah, it seems like it shouldn't. I agree with that, Jonathan. I, th I think there should be like something that says, no, we go on, go, go disconnect everything first. This will let me know exactly how much I have left. Uh, no, I have a large, I have a large one on this climb. I'll go grab that. There's going to be, I'm going to need it for sure. I'm going to have to also stop by the store and grab a few things also. Even tearing down a claim and transporting stuff of stone, I could take me five, five, four hours. Oh my God. Holy crap. Hey, my grates are still here too. What do you know?
Yeah, well, at least um, it's not because when you used to take and transport equipment when it's already connected, you have cables and stuff just strung all the way across your map. And it was uh, really bad. Really, really, really bad. But so it looks like they fixed that for the most part. Alright, man. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much for joining up on Discord. Appreciate that. I am normally, unless it's a special event or something like that, or we're playing the multiplayer game, normally I'm not in Discord talking while I'm uh, streaming, so. Let's load the truck up here. So the shit I can grab. Hey, hey, what's up, Carson? How's it going, man? Dorian, dude, thank you very much for the uh, sub there, buddy. Welcome to the Window Lurker Club, man. There'll be some complimentary Tide Pods and uh, Windux coming soon. I'm doing absolutely great, man. Just got a little bit of a stuffy nose. We got Mr. Walt. What's up, buddy? Any news on when the patch will drop? So the last time I heard anything about anything to do with the patch, it seemed like they said that they would have more information for us on the 3rd of this month. So let's hope that they had enough time. Well, let's be honest. They went on vacation, right? It was Easter weekend, Good Friday. They wanted a long week. They couldn't get it done. Everything wasn't balanced correctly. Uh, gold was super inflated and all that good stuff, man. So it was, uh, they were definitely trying to get it out, but they kept coming into problems, it seemed like. So that's what they told us and everybody. That's why they gave us the open beta. So that way we could uh, hopefully find some more bugs while they're on vacation. So it seems like we'll be getting more news on the third. Uh, it's a bummer they didn't meet the deadline that they set for themselves. Um, you know, I thought it was a little bit um, kind of weird that they gave themselves a deadline when they've never done that before. Okay, let's get down here and pick up the other stuff. Yeah, no multiplayers uh, scheduled yet. It probably will never come out for this version of the game. We can all hope and dream that it will. At least some type of co-op, whether it's two-player, any any type of co-op would be nice, right? Not like we're asking for much, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait for it. That's for sure. Yeah, it's um the gold. Yeah, defresh. It's nuts, dude. It's nuts, man. I, that's why I, you guys know me, I can't play when the gold is broken like that, dude. It just, um, I just don't like it at all. It looks like I'm gonna have to pick up another grate. This one fell through the floor or something. We'll stop at the store and grab some more stuff. Yeah, don't hold your breath, man. Just, just it's not coming out. <laughs> it's not coming out. If it does, that'll be a glorious day. Now we might have to make a few. We might have to make a few runs, guys. Let's see how much we can stack up on here. Drop a couple cables. I doubt we're going to be able to get this in one go. Well, the thing is, is, I mean, most of the stuff that looked like it was bugged, other than the gold, was um, all texture problems. Like, things weren't painted fully, it's all skinned issues, and and honestly, that was all fluff crap. Um, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of what they did there. There's a lot of other things that they could have been working on a lot harder um, than painting vehicles. That's just my opinion on it, though. You know what I mean? Excuse me. Start for the runny nose here, guys. Yeah, it's just a little, a little weird, but whatever, right? 
any contents content and you know just vehicle paint nothing to get too crazy about come on hose come on oh hey you're stuck on me here no yeah I've always I've I've been the same way defresh man if it gets out of control, the gold gets out of control, I just stop playing because I don't like that will ruin my experience more than anything um, in this game is when the gold is just completely blown out of a portion. All right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll go uh, start setting up. We'll go start setting up. We'll bring everything over. We'll see exactly what I need and we'll make one more trip back. Um, yes and no, uh, ethical. Um, I don't feel that it's a necessity. However, it would be nice to have maybe a different type of a truck. Um, it would be nice, but it's, like I said, it's not necessary to just be kind of like a, you know, because you can put everything together with the current equipment that we have. Uh, it would be nice to see a, you know, something that we could put on the back of this truck, maybe like an addition to it, maybe some side boxes or... You know, that you could just run up to and store your shit in it. That'd be kind of cool. And maybe if it had like a welder or something like that on it for when repairs come out. Um, you know, kind of like a utility truck would be kind of cool. Maybe something that has like a little bit of a fuel container on the back. As well as all that other stuff. You know, just a really nice utility truck. A one and done type of truck, right? You could do a little bit of everything with it. Maybe get a bigger light rack for it. And just maybe something, maybe something we can customize a little bit with additions. You know, where it's like, or take this truck and just start adding things to it. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, wait. Can I take that road? I don't remember. Hey, hey, what's up, Diamond Squad? How's it going, buddy? Oh, yeah, that's right. It does, cur it does curve down here. Because this truck is fine. The, models, the model for it, I think, is fine. Um, you know, but being able to customize it would be nice. A uh, bigger trailer would be cool. Uh, something that was a little deeper um that way maybe we could customize this truck that'd be that i think that'd probably be the way to go would be that way we could just customize this one and give us a bigger trailer so when we're hauling things uh we could haul maybe a couple pieces of equipment at a time maybe like instead of instead of buying our gravel pumps and having them just delivered maybe we would be able to deliver them ourselves on you know flatbeds or or whatnot so Yeah, like Mitch's truck, exactly. Just a utility truck, man. As yeah, like a little bit of a crane. Yes. Um, well, they've already said that. Even on my stream, they said it. Yeah, the goal. They said that you know uh, they will be adding in, you know, changeable pieces for equipment. It was a part of the Kickstarter goal a long time ago. So I think if you, if, okay, if you look back, everything that they've added to the game has been part of the Kickstarter goal, even if it was met or not. So, you know, so I could see us getting moddable equipment and stuff like that here in the future. Hey, crazy dude. Thank you very much for that sub, dude. I appreciate that, man. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Window Liquor Club. If you guys want to join the Window Window Liquor Club, and get that little nifty little uh, pot leaf that you see people have in their name. That is a sponsor. It's a $5 monthly uh, charge. Helps out the stream. Bring in a little revenue so I can purchase some new games and stuff like that. Did I just kill my truck? Oh, okay. Well, well that was weird. It's like it just lost power all of a sudden and it's like my truck's getting worn out. It's done. It's carried too much gold Too much gold man. It's just it's dying. It's broken All right, let's set this up down here Hey, what's up, Smoking Dutch? What's going, buddy?
Oh, that's right, these ones go in sideways. Fancy. It's been a while. I, you know, I have not mined on Rivertown too much. Um, better floodlights that don't require a mile. Of, yeah, I agree with that. That's another one. Get this all slammed together here. One thing at a time. They're playing Steve Thieves a lot? Nice, nice. We need that down here. We need this down here. We're gonna need this. We need one of those. One of those. Oh, there it is. Need one of those. This goes to this. That way we can see what we're needing here, guys. And I gotta figure out where I wanna put my Jenny at. Hmm. Where should I put the Jenny? I don't wanna put it over here. And I don't wanna put it over here. Because this is where the Franks are gonna be coming in. So if I look at the plant. Hold on here one sec, guys. So if I'm putting Franks up into the... Yeah, I don't want to put anything in front of here. They should also add permafrost layer that needs to be stripped. Uh, yes, that is actually one of the things that is... They will be coming out with. It's just when um, is the permafrost. And it seems like we're just going to get a layer of... Pretty much anything above it's going to be shit. So you're going to have to... Do you're probably going to have to doze it down. And then you're going to have to rip it. And then hopefully there's a... Oh, what I'm hoping is, is there's like a day or something like you have to wait a certain period of time before it thaws. Um, I would assume that, you know, that's would be a mechanic in the game, right? So you, you rip the, you rip all the overburden off, you know, by pushing it off to the side. And then you use your ripper blade to break it all up and it probably changed like the way it looks. And then it takes uh, maybe a few days to thaw out and then you can push it away again. And then you're down to a pay layer. So let's hope that that's where they're going. That'd be the most basic way of doing permafrost to this game. But how hard is that going to be for them for them to implement? So yeah, so it'll be it's it really is what it's going to come down to is what it's. I think I'm going to put the uh, the Jenny over here. Hey, hey, what's up, Doc? We need dredge. Yeah, a dredge a dredge would be fun. Um, but we'd have to have a whole new claim and everything like that. What's up, bees? Right, this thing's tipped over, so... I think he meant dredge. But that's okay. I think I, I, think I got him. Why am I not using the D-Rocker? Oh, because the D-Rocker's a downgrade, man. Glacier Creek's where it's at, bro. Ah, let's just grab it and flip it. I mean, the, the developers definitely know that we want a dredge and things like that, but it's, you know, they obviously have a direction of the game, the way that they're going with it. And I don't think the dredge currently fits into their, their, uh, their plan. Right. But it, I would say that I would, I, I would guess to say that it wouldn't be never. It's just not anytime soon. They, they have a really long way to go. Come, come, come. Come on. Yeah, they got a they got a really long ways to go, guys. They have so much stuff. They got permafrost. They got repairs. They got all the little things that they have planned, fixed, or that are in the game, but they just are not telling us yet. There's so much stuff, guys. Like this game's nowhere near done with them developing it. 
or fixing problems. So all I can really say is just stay tuned, man. If you get bored, make sure you keep checking back because there's going to be some cool stuff being added um, to the game. Let's use the shorter cables. Yeah, it would be, man. Yes, it would be. Front-end loader does need a lot of work. It is definitely the worst piece of equipment on the claim. Um, also, too, I would say the dump truck needs to be reworked now because of Frank. It's absolutely obsolete. There's no reason to be using it at this current state in the game because of how easy it is to get gold. It make, Pretty much you can afford Frank within a few days of, of playing the game. Even if you don't use any dollar modes or anything like that, you can buy it pretty fast. Uh, so, and once you get a Frank, you're pretty much it's it's obsolete. There's no reason to have a rock truck And for me, that's a little disappointing because the rock truck was such a great addition to the game Right and then you know then Frank comes out and like, it seems like they have a trend Every time that they bring something new out in the game it makes something else completely obsolete Right like I understand that they're going through a tier system and everything like that But when gold is so inflated in this game, it makes everything obsolete even faster um, you know, they're like, oh, hey, this game has thousands and thousands of hours of gameplay, but you don't really feel it. Holy shit. All I feel is broken fuck cables. God damn it. All right, you're getting dragged into place, so homie. All I felt is that tree breaking my cables. Oh my gosh. work I'm happy with that just in case I have to move it we'll leave the cables on top breaking cables right and left oh man am I stuck on here Just straighten that out a little bit better just pull on it Well, that's a little, uh, pulled too tight. Nope. There you go. Oh, Friar, what's up, buddy? Whatever, it's going to be flopping around everywhere. Yeah, well, I mean, guys, it's, I mean, I mean, in my opinion, there's a, the, the front loader is, it's one of those obsolete ones as well. It has its uses, but it's very small amount. There's only certain things you'll use the front loader for. Um, the excavator is your main tool. And I think honestly, the excavator works fantastic. There's a lot of little, there's a lot of little things that need to be tweaked on it, but I would say if they didn't touch it, it'd be completely acceptable. Um, uh, so that's why I don't, you know, the truck works fine. Trailer could be bigger. Uh, it could have sides on it, you know, the, the racks. 
But even that, it's not a big deal. It's not like it's a game-breaking, holy fuck, I'm pissed I'm not playing this game. Right? Okay, what else we got here? I agree. The front loader and the Frank would be nice, but however, when just the way a front loader works in this game, because it doesn't hold enough dirt, um, it it doesn't. You can't move as many yards with it, so therefore the excavator just it beats it every time. Like we've proven that a, a, a ton of times. The excavator, you know, we had tons of people coming in here all the time. Hey, split! I can move way more dirt with the front loader then you can. And it's like, okay, show me a picture of how much dirt you moved. And it was like 300 yards. 250 yards. And I'm just like, <laughs> 700 yards, bitch, with the excavator. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. It doesn't happen. It's, you can't, you can't, it doesn't, it doesn't win at all. There's no way. I, st I still wouldn't use the front loader. Even if they made it equal, um, I still wouldn't use it. I just don't like the way the front loaders operate at all. Um, I've never liked front loaders, even in real life. Don't like front loaders. Lamest fucking boring piece of turd on the planet. That's right. We'll glitch it. So if you if you're always if you're just short a little bit on your hoses, just just right just just right click a little a couple times and it'll drop a few things hose and just inch your way in. I should be able to get it to the other one, but if I can't, I'll have to use an extender. Nope, we got it. <laughs> oh, man. What did I spend the two million on? Um, buying this claim and buying all the upgrades for it. Is what I spent that on. Okay, so we need one more cord. Let's see. Actually, no. We need to hook up the water. All right. Let's hook this water up. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. We will... Hold on. Is anything running? Yeah, man, we bought it outright, and we bought all the upgrades for it. We're we're good. All right, let's go bump it to the uh, morning time here. Enough of this darkness here. We got no lights on the clam. I ain't gonna do that to you guys. There we go. So when, when the patch does go live, guys, I will be redoing all the stuff here. We'll get rid of, we'll move all this, clean it all up. This is just a temp setup for the day uh, for us to run until the patch comes out and we go live. Uh, so that way it's, you know, this is not going to be the final setup of the claim by any means. We'll bring in the big water pump. We'll bring in all that good stuff. The splitters we will make everything look amazing, right? We'll get that all going. We have no clue when the when it's supposed to go live, man. Right now, I'm currently on the live version because we need to get, uh, yeah, there's no day yet at all. Uh, let's see here. I might, I might need to move this a little bit here. Put it right next to the, um... yeah, I'll put it in between because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and put a, a big fuel over here. And that way I can fuel my pump. And my large Jenny. So that way, everything that needs to be refueled is all in the same area. I can just grab the nozzle on the big, 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 uh, 
big fuel and just, you know, fill, fill, done. Get out of here, right? Just make it quick. Yeah, see, I didn't understand that too, Ethical. I didn't, I didn't understand why they needed two. Uh, I think what it was is they just, too many people were like complaining, I guess, about a lot of them were just complaining. Is I think is what it was, and they were just like, okay, fine. Because people were like, oh man, it has to be electrical, or oh my goodness, it has to be, f you know, they couldn't, I don't know, it, 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 didn't, it didn't make any sense to me at all, why? Why didn't, why didn't they, why did we need two different kinds? But hey, whatever, right? <laughs> I guess they're kind of going with a theme of, uh, you know, like Frankenstein with the whole like little teeny one with the batteries put on it. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say what, what their, what their goal is for the game, right? Let's put all this stuff over here because I don't think we even need all that. I uh, will put some lights in. We'll put some lights in. So... What do we need to run? What do we need to run? Let's get this fired up. Like the old pumps better? I should go eco-friendly and use the electric ones. Well, I mean, I don't know. I probably will go with the electric ones because it's less stuff to do. Um, that way I can just more focus on mining. So, like, if there was a big pump, I'd put it right here. You know, big Jenny in fuel. Just keep this thing chomping fuel. It'd be nice to see how much, if you max this thing out with all, like, the tier, you know, tier 5 equipment, how much fuel it actually burns through. Oh, man, Mr... Bonk, dude. Yep, you only selected the one day payment. Sorry about that, bro. That's a, uh, that is a bummer, man. We're good. Let's, uh, let's move in the big, let's move in the big fuel here. Everything's up, everything's spinning. Yeah, I would definitely fix that, man, because that's a uh, that's a bummer, dude. There, that's that's a bummer when it happens when you accidentally don't set the uh, the duration of your your loan, man. See if I can use these. An on off button? Like an all on? Yeah, I, you know, I thought about that too. I was thinking, you know, hey, maybe an all on or all off would be nice. Or would they have an all off, but all on? I don't know. It kind of takes away from the, uh, for me, I would, I, it's not really, you know, running in there and clicking the things on is kind of like the part of the game, right? Ease of use is one thing, but completely just removing the the feel of the game is kind of why I would say no to that. Like, because it's kind of cool to run in there and hit the buttons, and and sometimes you don't want to turn everything on. You know what I mean? Sometimes you want to turn on just you know some something. You want to turn on the lights, or you just want to turn on. You just be able to run in here and you know, hey, I want to turn this one on or this one on. I guess I mean I guess if you just want to turn everything on to start, you just hit one button there, all on, all off. You know, like a little like a little breaker. I can see what you mean by that, yeah. But I, you know, as far as it needing to be put in the game, meh. How was my weekend? It was good, man. Just, just sat home, relaxed with Amanda, played some video games, just kind of chilled out a little bit. Nothing too crazy, man. Nothing too crazy. It's nice low-key, kind of just watch some movies, watch some TV, just get off the computer for a little bit.
Hey, Rubus TV dude, how's it going, buddy? Come on, climb this hill. I'll use the super shorty, see if I can get through here. Yeah, little breaks are nice. I mean, I know I hit it pretty hard, guys, on, on average for, for Gold Rush, but, um, you know, I, I that's why I went to do the whole old, old Arnold. I just went, I kind of went to, like, just robot mode on it, and I didn't really care too much about it. Um, it was, you know, it was something I wanted to do for a long time, maybe see if I could do a massive cleanup. I should have done it on a different claim, though. The, I mean, if, now that I can think back about it, I should have done it where it had a little bit more meat on the bones, right? Something that was like, if I was going to do a two, three hundred bucket cleanup, I should have done it on something a little bit different, but. Hey, what's up, Wayne? But at least old Arnold's done, guys. It's it's been put to bed. It's been put to bed. I ain't I ain't doing that again. It's done. I promised you guys that I would do it, and I said I was gonna do it when I restarted over again. That we were gonna, we were gonna finally finish it out because the bugs we had last time. But I hope you guys were happy with it. Hopefully, you guys the people that wanted to see it done. Hopefully, you guys got your enjoyment out of it. Because uh, I know that I did. I got a lot of enjoyment out of doing it. It's done now, though. It was, you know, it was a nice little break, right? Because now that we're on Rivertown, it's, it, it's on. It's on, man. It's on, dude. It's. I don't even. I don't even know what to say about this. We're gonna. We're gonna tear this. We're gonna tear this claim apart. We're gonna split it in two. Getting wrecked. Uh, not bad for about an hour and uh, 15 minutes, man. Hey, Adrian, dude, thank you very much, man. I, that's, like, love the kind words, man. I really do. Yeah, dude, pretty much like I said, pretty much only play Gold Rush. Where, you know, we're trying to find some other games to play. You know, we do play World of Warships from time to time. Um, you know, with me working and stuff now, doing things like that, my Wednesdays and my, my Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays are definitely jam-packed. Um, for me to get in a... You know time to do anything on those days now on my off days is gonna be kind of hard so once my schedule gets a little bit more stabilized over the next month or so i might go to full time on the days that i play so i'll be playing like gold rush in the morning and then i'll be playing a different game at like noon noon to five so you'll have two different blocks probably two different games i'm really just trying to get my schedule down All right, I think we're all I think we're all in. So now I just gotta go grab some a couple mats. I think I need. Uh, we'll just do the final check real quick, guys. We'll go do one more store run, uh, and then we'll bring a Frank over. We'll put Frank in, and we'll uh, we'll move some dirt. Maybe bring the dozer over. Yeah, I I only started streaming when the game came out, guys. This is my uh, my first crack at streaming. I haven't, you know. I really, you know, it's just, I just started to play this game. Started streaming and it's kind of just turned into what it is, right? Like I said, the channel will always be what it's going to be. I'm not trying to make it something that's not. Um, you know, just here to have fun, hang out with you guys. It's, you know, hanging out with you guys is, is key to the channel. Amanda's zipping a coat. She's not ripping ass. That's just a coat being zipped. We don't need the trailer right now. Yeah, make sure to hit that like button. Just like, just like Will Wiener saying, man, hit that like button, dude. All right, so we need, let's just put these on so I don't lose track. Because I didn't have, one of them was, must have fell onto the ground or something when I was uh, moving everything around. All right, so we need one grate and we need mats and buckets. One grate, mats and buckets. Everything else is, everything is up and running. That's, damn, that was pretty quick.
Yeah, everything's yeah, it's not bad. It's not it's not it's not too not sloppy sloppy, but what the hell is that? Hey, what's up, Phil? Days gone dead. What's going on, guys? All right, let's get back to the um the store and get the rest of the stuff. Let's get this let's get this pumping. Let's get a little bit of dirt moved here, guys. Like I said, I can't be on for too too long today. I got family coming over. We're kind of doing the whole you know Easter Monday thing, so. Get the claim set up. Claim complete. Set up good. Almost done. Just putting the finishing touches on here, guys. Yes, I do have foul mouth. I do swear. I do talk about weird random things. I do like marijuana. You will find that out on this channel. Um, yeah. Do I know when? Nope. I do not know when it's coming out for console, man. Taking today to recover. Yeah, we, me and Amanda just been, uh, me and Amanda just kind of partied it out with her by herself. She had to work all week. Um, she actually took today off. She was just like, I'm done, dude. I don't want to take that. I don't want to work today. Not feeling good. Just, just burnt out. Hey, what's up, brick fan? I'm losing sound. Ooh, that was kind of weird. I'm actually losing sound right now, so. You guys see it chopping in and out. No truck sound. That's great. This is what we want to see. Going into a mine. Have the devs said the repair system is coming out? Yes. Yes, they have hinted at it. Um, it didn't make it into this patch. I, I, It looked like it was going to be in this patch. It really did. But the next patch should be the next big patch should be repairs. I would I would think it's gonna be repairs. Um, I mean, obviously, there's some things that I know that I cannot tell you guys, um, but just because you know it's not supposed to be leaked yet, and I don't want to do that to the development team. But you know, it's gonna be good, guys. Trust me, it's gonna be good. You you guys will like it. The only thing that I've I've been battling at with them, kind of like, and 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 we all know this, and a lot of you guys know this, is that the gold is just there's just too much gold in the game. And are they going to make a, are they going to give us a hard mode? They've hinted at it now that we've a lot of you guys have been going in and voicing your opinions about the game and how it's too fucking easy and there's too much gold in the ground, and they need to give us an option to turn that down, so that way we feel like we can grind a little bit. There was a donation. Oh, there you go, man. Through the super chat, dude. Sorry about that. The notification didn't come through, buddy. I appreciate that, dude. Much love, much love, much love. Big old thumbs up for Adrian there, man. I don't know why my sound didn't go off there. That's really weird, bud. I saw that little wiener, dude. And you gave a really... You voiced your opinion very well, man. I... I Everything you said, I agreed with, man. That was 100% uh, a valid suggestion. And, you know, sometimes people don't like hearing the truth. But that's just the way it is, man. Know what I mean? All, almost everybody that's in this channel right now that's playing this game wants the game to be harder. Like, almost, almost every single one of us wants it to be harder. Because it's just too easy. Oh, I don't need 24 buckets. Uh... Just go a 10. Go a 10 for now. Like I said, the only way it's going to get harder and the only way we're going to get hard mode faster is if you guys go in and voice your opinion. It really is what it boils down to. You guys have to go into the Discord and suggest, hey, this game's too easy. Would you guys please give us an ability to make it more difficult? Um, and that's I think that's the only way, guys, is you guys, the more and more people that go in to do that, it'll happen. Yeah, well, one dollar mode is for people that get absolutely completely crushed. Um, it's still a way to save somebody that would normally, if your save corrupts, you know, sometimes you just got to use it. Um, if you know you don't want to go back and grind old Arnold again. Not everybody can go back every time and grind old Arnold. It's not their thing, right? <laughs> yep, I mean, it's what it is. 
I mean, go into the suggestions part and put it in there. That's where you'd suggest it. Make sure you guys follow the rules on the Discord. You know, they get a little grumpy when people, uh, you know, post things in general or stuff like that. Uh, making a hard mode would be a suggestion. Uh, no, Nugget Trap, I'm not doing. I'm on, I'm on live version right now. I'm not on beta right now. Yeah, like, look, we've been suggesting a Nugget Trap for how long now on the channel? How long have we been suggesting one for? Dude, and it's like, and they finally got it here, which is amazing. Hey, Farmer Dude, thank you very much for the uh, follow. Welcome to the Window Liquor Club, buddy. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, dude, sorry about any, I didn't see that uh, dono pop up there, man. That was a little weird. The sound didn't pop up. I appreciate that, buddy. Have I, no, I have not played spin tires yet. Um, have not played it. I got so many damn games right now to play. I don't even, I don't even have time. And normally I'm a one or two per, a game type of person, right? I, I put, I spend as much time as I can in one to two games. Um, and right now I have like six games, seven games that I would love to put a lot of time into. Um, you know, you guys know I like PUBG and stuff like that. Obviously, Sea of Thieves, Gold Rush, Overwatch, all those games I play a lot of. It's just what the channel wants to see. So I give you guys what you guys want to see. I mean, a lot of you guys are like, Gold Rush, Gold Rush, Gold Rush, Gold Rush, Gold Rush, all the time in private messages and stuff like that. Like, play Gold Rush, play Gold Rush, you know? So it is what a lot of you guys are here to see. So that's why I play it three days a week or try to play it three days a week. Now, sometimes I just can't, guys. Some days I just log on. I'm just like, I can't fucking play Gold Rush today. It's not going to happen. Like, I just can't, I can't do it. Get a couple more mats. Yeah, sometimes I just, I just can't, guys. I can't bring myself to do it. So I just got to get on and kind of like change the pace up a little bit and play something else. It's just one of those things, right? I don't even know if I ever want to go back to Pine Valley with how much bullshit's over there right now. Oh my gosh. No, I, I absolutely can't wait till the patch goes live. Um, I was waiting for it, guys. I was so hoping to do the Monster Monster clean out with the, the new Nugginator and everything like that, guys. That would have been absolutely amazing to have in showcase under that circumstance, right? Nobody else is gonna do it that way. But uh, hopefully we have some mats saved up. I might actually save a set of mats every time I do a cleanup and just do some buckets or do just save some mats for when it does go live. So that way we can uh, put a bunch through there and see what happens, right? So. Oh yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, that's, you know, that's why, I mean, the amount of time that I play Gold Rush on stream, I play almost as much off stream just to prep things out so you guys don't have to see them or see it happen. Because uh, there's a lot of shit like, you know, dipping all the mats in the buckets. There was no way I was going to make you guys suffer through eight and a half, nine hours of me dipping buckets and filling water, water buckets up. It's not going to happen. I know that that's not what you guys want to see. And that's, it was, it was, it was a mind break type of thing. And then getting on and having to stream the next day and do do a, the same type of task over again. So a lot of that work was I had to prep out, you know, off stream. So All right, let's get back to the claim. Yeah, but most of the work lately, um, there was a lot of work and prep work that I did off stream before, but now I don't do that. So that's why I kind of stopped my I, I noticed I was getting ready to burn out. Um, on the game if I was to continue that pace so that's why I kind of slowed down a little bit and kind of went towards more towards realistic mining where you strip off overburden uh, you don't drill the claim it kind of adds a little bit more immersion for me that way when I when I play the game this way um, instead of just uh, you know going for the richest spot in the gold you know or like everybody else is doing pretty much I really enjoy making cuts and planning out my claim and just systematically destroying 
the claim, right? As, as, as quick as I can. You know, how much work can I get done in 80 hours, pretty much? 80 hours of playing this game and making the videos, the five hour long streams, you know, 10, 10 episodes. You know, how much can I get done? You know, like the Mega Mega Cut or the, oops, the Colossal Cut or, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's what I enjoy doing. In, in yeah, it's it, like one claim, one cleanup was kind of just a way to kind of finally put old Arnold to, to rest. And now that we're on Rivertown, Rivertown is never... Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, um, all right. So, this is, um, new. Um, okay. Um, yeah, well, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to fucking break something. Son of a bitch! <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um, yeah. So... Yeah, just trying to just trying to take a nice little stroll through the um Five Valley there. Rivertown. Oh. oh, are you serious right now? Come come on, man. It's just fucking like a monkey trying to help a football here. This is bullshit. Son of a bitch. Well, um, okay. Um. Uh, okay, well, um, no truck for me, it looks like. Um. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, nope. Nobody saw that happen. No, no hood now. That's how it works. Wow. Just wow. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know, I don't even know what to say right now. If I would have got out of the car, it would have, it would have, all the mats would have dropped everywhere and I would have had to go back and get mats and buckets. So wait, wait, the only reason why that was happening is because the truck was at a weird angle. And if I could get the truck at the right angle, when it falls, if it falls upside down or on its side, it's automatically going to reset to its last location. So wait till it's going to fall on its, on its, on its uh, wheels. That's like when I got the, um, when I was taking the death road. I don't know what episode it was on the dozer and the dozer fell on its side. It got stuck in that continuous loop of falling. Yeah, that's when you just want to like rip your fucking hair out and just hope that you can get it fixed. All right, let's pull this out. Come on. Oh gosh. All right, we got all of our mats. Okay. Yeah, it's it's brutal. Yeah, yeah, saves saves all good. We got that. We got that. But you guys yelling for a save? I was like, gotta gotta do it. Hey, Gamer Pro. What's going on, buddy? All right, let's take some dirt so we can get a get a little clean out done today. See what kind of dirt we're going to move. We, we are not drilling. So, okay, guys. I would just like to ask you guys right now, just like I did on old Arnold. I am not going to drill the claim. It's been requested of me. It seems like you guys have way more fun when I don't drill the claim, guessing what the gold's going to be. I would appreciate it if you guys would not tell me... Um, well, I guess you guys couldn't tell me if I don't drill the claim at all. There's no way you guys could tell me what claim I have where there's gold. So, because there's like, there's only like, there's like four or five variations of the claim and where the gold's at. So if, <laughs> if I just don't ever, if I don't drill one hole, you guys can't tell me. So I guess, I guess that works, right? But I do know where there's pockets of gold in here. Like I would say, you know, hopefully, you know, please don't try to spoil it for everybody. We're just going to drill. We're, we're not going to drill. We're just going to go in cuts. We're going to dig in cuts. 
and we're gonna just we're gonna do it that way so so if you guys know where the gold is and obviously all of you guys do there's screenshots all over the internet please don't say hey split move over a couple feet and you'll be digging in you know you'll be digging here uh yes uh funk i am actually streaming live to youtube right now as well that's all the people you're talking to i think i have like 60 some odd people over here watching so if you want to come on over here too man i'm over here on youtube right now live you can come on over here and hit that uh that sub button if you want me greatly appreciate it man hit that like button all of my all of my old stuff over 500 hours of gold rush playing is on youtube so that goes all the way back for when they lifted the nda on the beta and they said you guys can go ahead and stream it that's when i started streaming there was a 10 hour launch party there's all kinds of stuff in there when i first started the channel sorry for the cringy the way it looks and stuff like that and the audio i was just starting streaming i had no clue what i'm doing i still don't have any clue what i'm doing trying to learn every day and all that stuff i do so Yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, just click that link down there below. It'll take you to the page. All right, let's, let's bring Frank in here. Let's bring Frank in. Oh, gosh. Frank's going to get down and dirty on the clan, boys. Little trick, you guys, little wiener, was like, dude, split, you're just, you're just a, you're just a dumbass split. You need to, you need to start resetting your truck, dude. So that'll happen. If you reset your truck when you're not in it, okay, that's how you can unload your truck faster. Sadly, you cannot do that to load your truck. Sad face. Oh man, I'm gonna have, we're gonna have some fun here in Rivertown, guys. I can't wait. I haven't been here. I've only dug a little bit of dirt out of here and it was glitched. So that's why we decided to go over to Rivertown with the new save and everything like that. And back when uh and then we started up the mega mega cut so i had a blast in in um in pine valley pine valley was awesome the worst part of pine valley is the fucking cows like it's, it's the cows man it's so the cows dude that constant mooing dude is just i just i don't know man it just drove me crazy Starting on the far end, working my way to the plant. Well, there's a few things I'm going to do um, here, which I was trying to do last time I was here on the claim um, when we didn't have Frank. So last time I was here, I didn't have Frank. So my mining plan was a little different. I also came in, I brought a tier two in and ran tier two for a little bit in here. Uh, we were going for maximum yardage to see what, you know, what the max yardage was uh, with the tier two pushing 700 some odd yards a day um we were trying to break the 1k with frank on pine valley uh we got pretty damn close uh before my my time broke so it's hard to judge how much i'm digging a day when the time is broken so we're not going to be doing any of that till hopefully the time's broke or i end up making a new save so All right, so we are loaded, primed, time to bring in Frank. Oh God, it's Frank time. Oh, it's time, oh, wait, that's not, that's not where I'm going. What the hell? All right, we only need one. Riverdown. Let's bring over the dozer and a Frank. I must have really bad allergies right now. I don't know what's going on. Normally I don't have allergy problems. I know I'm not sick. It's just, uh, I guess I'm freaking runny nose, dude. It's freaking springtime. Bullshit. Oh, there's the majestic creature right there. There he is. Oh, 
you sexy beast. That new claim setup smell, that's right. And then I'll go through here off stream and I'll make sure everything's all tidy, tidy, tight and right, you know. Dude, I am, dude. It's just like slobbering shit everywhere, man. It's, I can't even fucking stop myself. I'm just slobbering all over everything, dude. Like, like doing like, God, it's, not, it's like Todd Hoffman on the freaking dirt episode, man. Damn it. Only blowing freaking snot bubbles and shit. <laughs> YouTube's broken in Sweden at the moment. Oh my gosh. All right, so. Well, what we need to do is we need to take out the sides. That's obvious. Right, because we're not gonna we're not gonna doze too much, but I would like to get these sides dug out. So maybe we'll start on the sides over here. See how far I can get. Uh, maybe right here. We can just start here and move our way back. Uh, wait, hold on a second here. Yeah, let's let's start back in this little corner. I can use this. I don't want to destroy the front of the claim here. Maybe, man, maybe I might bring another Frank in. We might, you're right. Maybe if we can go to the back here this time. I don't like digging back to front. Oh, we're going to work. Do we got to bring another Frank in right off the bat? Shit. Oh, oh God, we're getting another one. Oh, well, we're getting another Frank. It's getting down and dirty. I keep forgetting it's up here. How long am I gonna be streaming for? Let's see. So today, right now it's 1 30. We'll try to fill the wash plant twice. We'll see if we can go twice and um and stuff. Because like I said, I got some things to do here in a little bit. People could be coming over at any time. So I want to get something going here today. Get the setup and get a little bit mined. Get it going. That'll give us about you know a two and a half hour stream. Might break myself. <laughs> That's all that cocaine do, it's got me jacked up. Just kidding, there's no drug usage going on here. What's up, renders? How's it going? Stupid runny nose? God damn it. I'm gonna start taking some Benadryl. Maneuver the beast in, man. I was getting a little excited. I'm like, whew, they use two francs right off the bat. Oh my goodness. Get out of my way, other Frank. Yeah, I got to bring in a uh, mobile fuel. So, well, well, we'll do that later, though. We'll get some digging going on. Like I said, today's going to be a little shorter of a stream. I mean, a little couple hours short, but we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be slamming some pay tomorrow. All of tomorrow, we're going to be crushing out pay. Uh, we're going to make the cut. We're going to take, we're going to shape out the cut a little bit on this side over here. And we'll name it. We'll name the cut. We'll do that. Make a whole new thumbnail for it. Put a whole bunch of billion dollar stuff in it. 
you know, perp awesome green circles. Let's say billion dollar gold mine. I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to. I had to. I had to, right? It was like my res it's my responsibility to do that. Someone had to do it. It only takes one franc just to get to the frickin' wash plant from here. Alright, well that's good to know. Doesn't look like this frank's gonna move a lot. I don't think he's gonna move a lot at all. I think he's just gonna stay here for a really long time. You're gonna be sitting there for a bit. So, pretty much like I said, if I don't put anything out in front over here... If I don't put anything out over here, I can just pivot around with all the franks and just kind of work my wits way in a big arc so should work should should let's hope all right wayne dude take it easy buddy thanks for stopping by man much love man hope you have fun with the grandkids dude We'll leave this flat as a, a ramp entrance. You guys, a lot of you guys remember what happened when I tried to doze this out. It is, holy crap, a lot of pain in the ass. All right, we, we will do this right here. Let's just put this in place. We'll dig on the corner over here for now. We'll, so what we'll do is we'll take and we'll dig out and we'll go this way along the bedrock, on the rock, on the, on the side of the clay. We'll dig out, we'll make a trench again. Nice dude, going swimming. Going no swimming. All right, let's get fired up. Let's do this. Hopefully, nothing explodes. Oh, it all sounds good. Seem like I'm missing something. Like, am I? I'm missing something, aren't I? It gotta be. Let's see. I don't have any lights. That's one thing. Lights? Am I missing something? Am I having like a brain fart right now? No, I'm not missing anything. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feels like I'm missing something. All right, setup is complete. Time to mine some dirt. Uh, we'll give it. We'll do a little cleanup today. We'll do a little testing. We'll do a little test run today. We'll run these mats here, guys. We'll test out where uh, what kind of dirt we're going. What kind of dirt we're in. Well, I'll play with that for a bit. Top down digging, boys. Uh, no clue, uh, Damien Murphy. They haven't, uh, give us a day yet, man. So I need Frank's to be right here. I need his, I need his butt moved over a little bit. rock and roll boys and girls it's river town time we 
after he didn't move. I feel like I've answered that question a million times. Right. Let's do it. First scoop. First scoop. Oh, snap. Breaking ground on a river town. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. That's what we're talking about. I'm so happy to be in a new claim now. Oh, it's so nice. It just feels so much better over here. Oh, it's so great. Oh my gosh. A nice little test run today. See what kind of dirt we're going to be in. Exciting, exciting. And then tomorrow we're going to come in and we're going to hammer it hard, guys. We're going to nail it out. We're going to crush out as much pain as we possibly can tomorrow. See if we can't go for like maybe eight sets of mats or something. You know what I mean? Just just something ridiculous. So then we'll do a cleanup and see what we got. We'll have a guest to clean up. Oh boy, it's been a while. Guest to clean up. Right, let's make sure we're make sure we're collecting here guys see what our fuel consumption is we'll make sure we remember that make sure we're collecting dirt all new plant setup but we got everything's working we got it well, 100 percent still mm, no that's a bummer so it doesn't look like our fuel's going down in the pumps, so. That's still broken. That's all right, though. It's just fuel. You know, I still set everything up just in case, you know, the fuel kick kicks on. I don't want to, you know, be fully, like, glitching hard on it, but I don't really feel like resetting. You know, a lot of you guys are like, hey, Split, you're cheating. You're cheating because you don't have fuel. You should just restart the game and, and start all over again at Old Arnold. But you know what? How about not for the third time? It's filled up. Punch a little test hole. Be nice to see what's here. See what we're looking at, right? No clue where it's at. No clue. Hopefully we hit a nice little fat juicy spot right over here, right off the bat would be nice. Ooh, that'd be nice. Big old chunk of gold. Uh, quarter one, yeah, that's what they said, but they've definitely delayed it. Um, they said it in the Q and A for the um, on this stream on my stream here. They said that it's definitely delayed until at least you know 
second or the third or fourth quarter. So I believe they do have a company working on right now, converting it over to consoles. So seems like that's what they've been kind of talking about. So no, no, no definite release date yet. Nice good size test hole. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, I just yeah, just let you know. This they, they they said a lot of things on Kickstarter. Um, majority of the things they've said on Kickstarter, they've changed dates and things and stuff like that. So Kickstarter, you can, we can't really go off of Kickstarter anymore. Kickstarter is uh, kind of um, obsolete now for information. How much gold do I think Parker will get in Guyana? I'll say maybe 25 ounces. Uh, yeah, maybe 25, 30 ounces. Let's hope, right? It'll be nice. I, d I didn't watch... Was there an episode out the other day? Or yesterday? I watched Barry and see gold. Definitely more than Todd. I think that's a safe bet. I think you're right, dude. Definitely deep fresh. I mean, I watched the uh, Friday. Yeah, I just c couldn't find it. So, but oh my gosh, Bering Sea Gold! Holy shit! I couldn't believe it. I mean, I could. I knew it was kind of happening, but I'm so glad somebody kindly finally came in and uh, took in, right? Like, they finally brought a big boy in. Finally. Woo, because the Palm Rankies, they're kind of like mom and pop small time in it. But the guy that came in, whoa, oh, shit, boys. Don't want to give away too much, but damn, boys, it's a good one. So if you're into mining, you're into gold stuff, definitely check out Baron C. Gold this season. It's a good one. Yeah, this season's going to be great, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, some of the pictures that they were showing, dude. Wow, man. All of the crews seem like they're going to be doing well. Which is good. I want to see that, man. They've been struggling for so many years. Yeah, that's what I was suggesting to uh, Code Horizon, that we could maybe get a DLC of uh, Bering Sea Gold, where we have, like, N Gnome, you know, pretty much make Gnome Alaska. It's a real small town. Um, you know, give us a house, a couple different dredge options. Maybe the biggest, maybe the biggest clean out that we would get would be able to make our own dredge or something, like uh, the Palm Rankies have. Um, give us an ice season, maybe you know something like that. It could, it could be a part of this game. It doesn't have to be a standalone game. It could just be an addition to this game, which I could see that wouldn't be that hard for them to do. They could probably whip up something within like a good four or five months. It's not too difficult to, to do that. The deformable train doesn't have to be super crazy. It doesn't have to be deep like this. It could just be, you know, maybe four or five feet that we can go down and, you know, suck out of the ground under the water. It'd be badass, right? I would definitely be playing it. That's for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't even care, like, if, it, if the dirt just looked like this on the bottom of the ocean, right? We could just go down there and just start sucking it out. That'd be sweet, dude. You might be getting this game. It's a good game, dude. Just make sure you have the PC to run it, man. Because you'd be very disappointed picking up the game and then you, you don't get any uh, frames. That's kind of a bummer. Oh my god, Frank is so loud, dude. Holy shit. Jeez. 
Frank is just ridiculously loud. Sorry about that, guys. What kind of graphics card do you need? Um, anything over a 960, you should be able to play the game. Um, as well as you need a pretty decent uh, processor as well, so. Definitely don't want a potato computer for sure. And then even then, I couldn't guarantee that you're going to get anything, any good frames, because, you know, it's not really guaranteed right now. You could have an, uh, you could have an identical computer to me and get more frames or less frames. That's just weird. It all really depends on what you have on your claim, what you're looking at, uh, what your settings are, and everything like that. So there's a lot of different factors that go into it. But the new patch is definitely a lot better. Yeah, I mean, I've played the game on a 960. I've tested it out. Um, you can play on a 960. Um, I wouldn't recommend playing on Ultra, though. Yeah, a, nine, a 960 versus a 960 in a laptop is completely different, though, Defresh. Uh, standalone cards have a lot more power than laptop ones. So a 960 versus a 960 in a laptop is completely different. Yeah, I would definitely say a 10 series, man. A 10 series is where to go. But then at the moment, at the point it is right now, a 10 series is kind of pointless to get because the 20 series is coming out soon. Um, so I would wait to buy any graphics card right now. I would wait till summer or after summer if you're going to be looking at investing into a graphics card. Because right now the Bitcoin miners have raised the price up so high that it's ridiculous. Um, wait for the 20 series to come out that way the 1080s and the 1080 ti's drop down in price Because uh, they'll all be going over to the 20s the 20 series and all of the cards are gonna come down like crazy It, 20 to 30 frames per second is not bad if you're running if you're running a tier 5 um, Yeah, tier 5 is is pretty bru uh, tier 5, you know full tier 5 setup We call it a tier 5 because it's got all the upgrades on it, but pretty much it's a tier 3 as soon as you kick on that tier 3 man It just wrecks Everything Like for people's computers. That's why a lot of people only play on tier 2 and they don't and they don't and they use a one franc so if you're having problems with frames and you just can't run the tier three or tier five maxed out with franks on old arnold's a frame killer anyways old arnold's brutal as you can tell my frames are doing a lot better on this claim right like they're, they're it's a lot better so okay all right we're doing good not bad for our little test here guys Yeah, we're hitting some pay down here. It'll be a nice little test run. Keep going. Hopefully we can put maybe uh Um, I don't go over overclocking just because if I tell you something you fuck up your computer I could be responsible for that. So that's something that you need to do on your own Um, there's plenty of guides out there for your cpu. Make sure you know what you're doing um a lot of computers have automatic bios upgrades or updates for overclocking it's just a one click turbo boost mode. So if your processor and everything like that has turbo boost, then you can go ahead and uh, just use that. That's a safe way. So that's my only, I can only, that's as far as I'm gonna get into overclocking with you guys, because you know, I don't wanna tell you guys something you fry your shit out.
I did replace the thermal paste on my CPU after the other day's stream. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta be kidding me. That was a doozy, man. Woo, we were getting tanked on. That was so many buckets, dude, in that pile. When I jumped in that bucket pile, man, it just went absolutely nuts, dude. Like, it was, yeah. I was looking back through my logs and on my CPU logs, and it just wrecked, man. How did I make my intro? I had a company do that for me. They uh, just made a real quick one for me. I didn't want anything too crazy. Um, just kind of, yeah, there it is. Kind of dabbled, just, you know, looking at different things and how, you know. I was going to make it myself, but I ran out of um, time on my After Effects program. And they want like $30, $40 a month for that bullshit. So, maybe if I, um, maybe if I can, uh, you know, once everything goes up, learn how to do uh, After Effects a lot better. I mean, I know how to use After Effects, it's just been a long time. So... Oh, what company did I go through? I can't even remember off the top of my head, man. It's actually um, a company on YouTube. He does a lot of tutorials. I just can't remember his name right now. But he has a lot of different uh, things that he does. He did all, he did all the um, promotional work for Far Cry. Um, matter of fact, a lot of people were like, Hey, your thing's a Far Cry ripoff. That's exactly what I was going for. Um, I was going for that effect with my name and stuff like that. So... I just like the way that he did the the smoke and the dissolving text and everything. So he did all the Far Cry stuff. What have I missed? Oh, we did the well, we did the monster cleanup. I did a little bit of beta footage. Um, now we're back on live. We're going to Rivertown. So we're on Rivertown now. We're just digging a test hole. We got the uh, wash plant set up. So that's all set up. The claim is set up. We're ready to just dig this out. So just doing a test dig, man. Just doing a test hole. Punching this test hole, boys. Uh, last time I checked, I was at 40 something percent. We're good for a little bit. I'm not digging that fast right now, so. Yeah, I want to see Sean's new dredge too, man. I want to I want to see it um, in action. It's it's actually a hybrid dredge. It's not just a um, a bucket dredge. It's actually a um, a suction dredge and a um, a bucket dredge. So it's a, it's actually um, two in one. Why do all these new PCs have a whole bunch of useless LEDs? I agree, man. I'm not. It's not. I'm not a fan of them. The whole RGB lighting thing like that, it's just a whole bunch of fluff to make you pay a fuckload of money for something you don't need. If it doesn't make it run faster, I don't want it in my computer. That's how I'm on the same uh, impression, man. Hey, Paul, dude, take it easy, buddy. I appreciate you hanging out, man. Always love having you, dude. I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a fan of it. It just, it costs a lot of money, and why? Why, why, why? I've never been a fan of the lighting on on computers i built one computer probably like nine years ago that had lighting on it and i just was like it was so annoying that i just ripped i just cut i just cut it out i was, I was so sick and tired of the lights like on my case and not to mention they're just getting more and more and more expensive now with for the rgb it's like really like, come on, really? It's a couple LEDs, and you're going to charge us how much more money? A $60, $70 markup? <laughs> Lick my butt. Paying that. Fucking assholes.
Yeah, if it isn't gonna perform better or make it perform better, I don't care what it looks like. I don't I don't care as long as it performs, right? That's what's key when you buy a computer. What does it what does it look like? Does not matter. <laughs> like, does it perform? Is it cool? It's like putting disco lights in the sewers. <laughs> you know shit, right, dude? Scrape this down here. Might as well clean the wall as we go, right, guys? Yeah, they're they're ridiculous, man. I just can't believe it, man. And, and the price of memory too. It's like. <laughs> Really? Everything's gone up so much, dude, in like the last eight, like the last five years. It's just it's it's absurd. I remember you could get thirty two gigs of RAM for like like hundred and fifty bucks, man, DDR three. That was like the G Skill Ripsaw series. And decent memory, and it's like now they're even, they're still the same price. Like eight years later. Like you like you kidding me, right? Oh man. Oh, we're on bedrock. We're on bedrock. This is gonna be a good test. Let's see what we can pull here. Let's go take a look. Sixty. Mm, No, keep on going. Keep on going for this test. A little side pocket here. Yeah, I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna plan my cut around this. And then we'll uh, take it from there. It looks like we're on bedrock here, so that's good. We'll stay on bedrock. Damn, dog, what are you doing back here, man? Let's not be farting again, dude. The new big dredge? Uh, you mean the this competitor? Palm Ricky's competitor? Oh, that's mm, it really depends on what um, it really depends on his like rotation speed and stuff like that. But I think he's going to what he, they call him crawler dredges like uh, Pomeranke was saying. So it doesn't really dig in an arc. It really it, it can dig in an arc, but it's more like a it has a radius in front of it. And then it just kind of moves forward and moves forward. They said 350. Yeah, about 350. That's what I was thinking, too. It, depend, it really depends on how hard the ground is that they're digging in because nobody's dug in that ground on the on on there so it's it's most of it's just hard rock and it's got a lot of um big boulders so how they're going to deal with those big boulders that nobody's disturbed for forever it's going to be interesting to see that could slow them down because you know palm Ranky's in the ground he uses a small bucket for a reason that way he doesn't have to deal with the big giant boulders that are in the in the water you know hey hooner how's it going man you know the big the big buckets can't pick up the big big giant rocks. Those are those are freaking wash plant killers, man. Yeah, he can only dig thirty feet. The only thing I could say was is with those other guys, the only thing that they could do would be kind of put like a, a modified grizzly bar on the bucket. I know that sounds weird, right? Like a grizzly bar on a bucket, but could you imagine if you have a bucket that's like eight times wider than this one right here, and you're digging down in, you're freaking picking up something the size of a Volkswagen? And dropping it onto your wash plant, that's not gonna be good. So they hopefully they don't destroy their shit out there in the Bering Sea. I wanna see him do good, right? The new guys. I want I wanna see someone actually compete with Pomeranke and uh, do something crazy, right? I don't care I don't really care who wins, I just wanna see a lot of gold, right? That's that's that show is kinda 
I want to see piles and piles of gold. Sitting on the bus, bro. Is it a short bus? Yeah, D Rocker would be a good setup actually for a um a dredge like that with a bucket that big. A D Rocker would be a really good setup. They could use they could take massive, massive uh boulders. But that's where the gold's at, man, is around those boulders, so if you if you can pick those boulders up and you can wash them, then you can pick up everything underneath of it, that's you're gonna be getting piles and piles of nuggets. Yeah, yeah, they yeah exactly they do exist. It's just Palm Ranky's bucket's small, so he doesn't he doesn't need it. Um, normally they just put a bar straight across. They weld it from like right down the middle of the bucket. They just put angle iron in there. So yeah, he just uses a small bucket. He's a, he's a small fish in a big pond up there, man, in a big ocean. He's um he is not even the new guy that came onto the show, man. He is he is a small guy. His boat's small as well. They have a dragline dredge boat up there that is like, oh my gosh, dude. You see it in the background sometime and you're just like, what is that? Yeah, Sean's a good miner. He does know where all the gold's at. That's one thing he does have going for him. He knows where the veins run and what, where they run through the claims. He's been out there. He spent years and years and years and years doing it. From a kid, his father, he's got a ton of intelligence. That's where he beats everybody else. It's not the size of his dredge. You know, they, they portray him being the big dog, but really he's not. He's actually, the, he's on the, he's borderline like small, small compared to a lot of these guys. Yeah, nice little size test hole we got going here so far. Hey, Jamie, dude, thank you very much for stopping by, man. I appreciate that, dude. You have a good day, too, man. Hopefully the rest of your day is good. Hopefully you had a good happy Easter weekend. Best to get all the rest of this down here. Just trying to punch a nice clean hole here. Yeah, he needs to make five million. I think he'll, I think he'll probably hit over a thousand, over a thousand ounces for sure. Because all he's got to do is just go dig near where Palm Rank is, and he'll just crush it, right? I'm not doing speed digging right now, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to keep try to keep you sunk down there, dude. Counterweights. You would even they'd have to like throw them in the water and then just chuck a weight belt on them, like two or three weight belts. Uh, Sean did get yes, he did get a new claim this year. He they've allowed him access to. The other part of the Tom Cod claim. Claim. Um, they've been waiting for people to uh, bigger dredges to go out there and mine that. From what, if you look at the mining records for out there, they have all the records posted, um, and they they've been sectioning off the Tom Cod claim for the last like five or six years. So they they're trying to section it out so that way they know where the gold's going and stuff like that. Palm Rinky's a big part of that. They're really good friends, apparently, with the family. They're all really big friends. You can check them out on their, um, on the Facebook, so. Those, those guys all know each other. Like, the guy that, um, I can't remember his name. The blonde-haired kid. His mom was sick with cancer. Um, he built that, like, that 10-inch or 12-inch, um, suction dredge. I think it was last season or season before. He's actually the harbor master of Gnome now. That's why he's not on the show anymore. Yeah, Derek, there you go. Helping you through an 18 hour bus ride. Well, glad I could help out in any way, man. 
Because an 18 hour bus ride sounds like hell. Yeah, Derek McClarty or McCarty or McClarty or however it's pronounced, yeah. Yeah, he's the one who stole the, the GPS data from uh, Sean. Yeah. Eighteen hours? Don't doubt, right? That does not sound like fun, dude. That does not sound like fun. Yeah, he had a really nice dredge. I think it was funny when he buried his his nozzle in the sand. It's like, oh, dude, he buried it. He had to get another dredge to come in and help him. It's like, oh, dude. Uh, sometimes bigger is not better, right? If you can't if you can't operate the damn thing, it's just too big. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Damn, that's a pretty hefty hole. Oh boy, it's gonna be nice to see some gold here in a little bit. Hopefully we're in some pay. Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he had a pretty good idea with that too, man. I agree. I thought that was a, it was a good good in concept, but honestly, it seemed like it was too small. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it seemed like it was a little on the small side. Emily is the Todd of the show. <laughs> so agree, dude. I so agree. I was dis I was like, dude, I don't I'm tired of watching her, dude, on the show. I really am so I'm really tired of watching her on the show. I understand the whole girl power thing, but come on man, this is just this is this is stupid. Yeah, good concept, wrong hands. That's, yeah. I don't know, I'm just tired of watching her on the show, dude. She's it's just it's like her dad. It's like, oh my gosh. Zeke's Zeke's kinda getting the same way for me too on that show also. I'm just done watching them, dude. Like, it's like, get your shit together already, man. Fuck, put the bottle down. Damn, dude. Take your fucking meds. Goddamn window liquor. I mean, if you can't, if you're a captain and your dredge isn't getting gold, as a direct, it's your fault. <laughs> like, put your boat on gold, keep your divers diving. She's always taking your divers out of the water. Like every time the wind picks up, she takes your divers out of the water. Like, and even the divers are like, um, no. And she just still like bullshits, pulls them out of the water every chance she gets. It's like, man, you can't do that. You, you that boat's got to be in the water all the time. Like constantly in the water, it's always got to be in there. It's always you got to get dive hours. You got to get you got to get time on the box, and she just doesn't do that. She won't. Well, she won't allow it to happen. Oh, that's why. It's because she's she panics out. She gets afraid. She has an anxiety attack, and she pulls everybody out of the water. And they're like, dude, I need to be in the water to mine, or else I'm going to go somewhere else. Yeah, I'm gonna go because it's kind of like it's almost like an hourly paycheck for them if they're not in the water digging or mining then it's they need to move on I could there's no way I could work for somebody like that. That's just absolutely crazy I the first time she pulled me out of the water for a stupid little teeny up and down bullshit wavy crap I'd be done dude. I'd be like nope. I'm done I'm done just because you can't handle it up on the water. It's way worse for the diver down below Like she's fucking bitching and sitting there bitching and complaining a little bit of wind picked up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look out. A little bit of wind. Oh god. Don't fall in the hole. <sighs> Planned failure. Alright. Let's go take a look at this plant. Chomping some pay, boys. 
Appreciate you guys uh, hanging out for me today. Oh, we are, we are full. Oh my gosh. Test is almost here, guys. Test is almost here. I'll turn off this one. You definitely feel on the bottom. You definitely feel the stuff on the bottom. Anytime there's a current change or anything like that, you feel it for sure. And you get dragged around, the boat pulls you around. Anything that happens up top is magnified down below. Remember, you're attached to a hose. So anything that's happening up there gets magnified down below by feet. They just don't show it a lot on the, uh, they just don't show it a lot. They only show them when they're digging in the calm shit. Like, pfft, they're getting pummeled down there. Well, I mean, current is just like wind. I mean, you gotta think, like I said, if the wind is blowing up top, the hose is gonna be jerking out of your hands all the time. Yeah, that, yeah. I would, I would love to go give it a shot and go do that. That'd be like a fat fucking walrus in the water. Maybe like Todd trying to go. Even worse. Yeah, Chetty still needs some tweaking, man. Yeah, we're on live right now, so we're not doing uh, the beta at the moment. We're doing uh, Rivertown setup, and we're doing a first little test here, and then we're going to call it for the day. So we're just going to be pumping this. Uh, we're going to be doing a cleanup here, so. Let's, uh, give me a bucket here. Oh, I don't have a wave table. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't have a wave table. That's great. We'll do a little hand panning. No big deal. You just don't got a wave table. You just don't got a wave table, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> oops. Well, yeah, that's what that's what pans for. A pan and a freaking a bucket. You do. How about sea mining in Guyana? They already have a ton of dredges going up and down the river, so. Over there. All right, let's uh let's see. How I'm gonna do this here. Buckets in here. And over there. Put them there and then I'll get a bucket and I'll turn the pump back on. I'll fill a couple buckets up. Dip a couple mats. Ugh, is it gonna be faster for me just to go get a uh, wave table? Probably. Probably, man. Oh no, there's some big dredges. Look at the uh, pre-show for um, Parker's Trail. There's some big dredges going down through the through the waterways, man. All right, Adrian, dude, take it easy, buddy. Get that sleep, man. Ducky, what's up, man? We'll take a look. I'm just gonna go get a wave table. I'll di I'll dip out this out and then uh, we we'll get a wave table here. Go we'll grab a wave table and just slam this through.
English if you could, my man. English if you could. All right, let me uh, shut this off and go daytime. We'll see how much we actually dug. How many yards we moved, actually. That'll be a good, good idea. Right, let's see how many yards we moved here. We'll skip, uh, we'll skip day. Oh, feels low. Screwed something up. That's great. So, 272. Oh, no. Did I leave my truck on? Don't even tell me I left my truck on. Oh, my God. If I left my truck on. Oh, no. I don't even have... I'm walking to town if that's the case. There might be some rage. There might be some rage. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Please tell me I turned my truck off. You son of a bitch! God damn it! Fuck! <sighs> oh, I know what I can do. Hold on. Hold on. I got an idea. Hold on. We have to. We have to salvage this. Come on, excavator. Come on, save the day. Hold on. <laughs> I don't have a jerry can, dude. I didn't bring. I know I didn't bring one. I don't think I grabbed one. Sorry, right, there's more than one way to do this. I'm just gonna lift the damn truck up with the excavator. I'm taking this thing with me. Yeah, I don't, I didn't, I don't, I didn't, I don't think I brought one. Man, I can't believe I did that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, English only if you can, man. Because uh, I can't take the time to sit there and uh, try to translate everything. I have a lot of people watching from around the, around different parts of the world, so... Everybody else has been abiding by the English only, so if you can, you gotta talk and you gotta type something, try to translate it out first, man. Do your best. I understand. Sometimes the uh translation thing goes out a little weird, so Yeah. I have to drag my truck. Over to the fuel container. Or wait a minute, hold on. Hold on. Use your brain here. Use your brain. Use your noggin. That's what you got it for. Come on, dummy. Come on, Dumbo. Or one way to do this. Aha! Aha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. Crisis averted. Yeah, the truck does have a uh, lifting spot. Yeah, that's probably what you were seeing, thinking that was a jerry can. All right, push this thing a little closer to the truck. There we go, fuel delivered. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I can't believe it. Whew. I thought I was walking to town, man. I was like, oh my gosh. If I, if I didn't have cables or any other way to do that, I would have been walking. Like, that would have, that would have not been cool. Alright, let's go get a wavetable. Can you play this with a joystick? Yes, you can, except for you have to uh, make sure you can have a right and a left. Uh, and then you have to rebind every control, every key to the directional keys on your controller. 
So you can do it. It's just it's a little finicky. They are coming out with multi joystick support. That's just a that's just down the road. Okay, don't get stuck. Come on. Yeah, multi joystick control is something that uh, they are getting ready to. They are definitely thinking about so. Just not fully implemented into the game yet. Man, I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe I did that. No, it's just ridiculous. Drifting. What the? Okay. 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 I mean, I know I drive my truck a little hard, but geez, man, I didn't even hit anything that time. There's mobbing down this road. This is a, this is probably one of the funner roads to drive on this game. Like it's not that bad. Yeah, this this road is probably one of the better ones. Pine Valley is a little like so gross. Pine Valley. Hey, what's up, Joel? I think there's a, there's an emulator that you can get um, that does it to left joystick, right joystick, but then you have to go in there and manually put in, you know. So say you have your WASD, right? That wouldn't be your WASD on your controls. So say you have your right hand control would be your excavator op, you know, your buckets. So you have the E, F, T, G, Y, you know what I mean? You have to, you have to maneuver all those in. So those are all the ones you'd have to manually put in those. There they are. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Give it a good old jerry can on the claim. Bunch of shit. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole ton of mining simulators and stuff like that out there, but getting this game where it's working right with two joysticks, where you could just use any two joysticks, you know what I mean, would be would be really cool. Any two joysticks and then uh, foot pedal, brake and gas. Or, you know, it wouldn't really be breaking gas. It would more be, you know. Don't lose it. Don't lose the can, dude. Just fill it up and put it in the storage area. Oh, gosh. Sandbags took me out. I'm living dangerous today. There we go, give you guys a little bit of sound again. Sorry about that, kind of turned it down here a little bit because Frank was so damn loud. It did mess with my sound settings um, when I went from beta to, to back, so it did mess with the sound a little bit. Trying to get trying to get tweaked out again just right. What the hell? Stupid bush? Jeez, man. Yeah, for me, I don't know if I want to play with double joysticks or not, because I like the... It's not going to be coded in... 
I don't know. It really depends on how they have the directional keys and stuff like that. So, for the joystick support when they do implement that all in. It'd be fun to play that way, but if I'm faster with the keyboard, I'm faster with the keyboard, right? It's about precision and going. Nice man, nice Joel. Okay, let's not hit that post. Oh, we hit the post. I oh, got damn it. Let's not hit that post. Hit the post. That's good. Way to go, bud. Way to go. All right, man. We're gonna be getting ready to test this, guys. Hold on in there. Hold on. Hold on. We'll test out this uh, dirt. See how it's uh. So yeah, we're holding here. Hopefully, we got some we got some good yards. Push two hundred and what was it? Two hundred fifty something? Two hundred fifty yards? Yeah, you you should be able to actually, Andrew. Um, right now, if I if I was to get two joysticks that worked left and right, I would be able to control both with foot pedals and um, if I had foot pedals and two controls. I would be able to, to be, I would be able to dig and do it at the same time because you can move, you can move the excavator without, with, while you're in digging mode. So like, you're in digging mode, right? My problem is, is the reason why I don't do this is because I, I don't ever have my hand on my mouse. So see, I'm in digging mode. I can still, you can still move, right? You can still move and move thing, but here I have, can't talk at the same time. Once I call on. See, so you can do it. It's just the problem is, is that if you use your mouse, you can't have both hands on the keyboard. So um, I could change some bindings around right now to mimic driving and using it at the same time, but it doesn't feel like a real excavator does uh, when you're doing both tasks. It seems like it loses way too much power, um, but that could just be the 400 being a piece of shit. Hey, Albert Brown, how's it going, man? Now let's drop this over here. Hook it up real quick. But yeah, you can. So you would be able to take one joystick and the pedals and control everything with your with your arrow keys. Um, and then you'd be able to take your excavator controls and put them into your controls and bindings and them in there. So it's just one to one, you know, left, right, up, down, you know, pedal down, pedal up, pedal down, pedal up. And then you have on your other controller, left, right, you know, up, down. You just change the binds to correspond. Like if you look at the, um, if you look at the access for the excavator when you're moving things. Here I see, see that? That's A and D. Your pedals. You're there. See him, see him moving them. You can even see him in the cab. Yeehaw! Right. Left, left and right. Up, down. This is for your boom, up, down, left, right. See, so it'd be easy. To, it's easy to, to configure, right? So it's very, very basic input on an, on an excavator. Not too much. Uh, absolutely, man. We could play it when, if, when, if multiplayer ever comes out. Uh, of course. All right. Let's get these things dipped. Get them dipped in here. We'll get them run. We'll get this little test going here, guys. And I'll let you guys go on about your day. All right, Bales, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you coming in and chatting in the uh, chat. Make sure you uh, tune in tomorrow if you have the time. Same time, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I'll be on slaying some pay, dude. All right, we'll take a look and we we'll see what we get from each uh, 
different type of mat set here. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't hit that sub button yet, hit that sub button. And if you are subbed, make sure you hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when I'm coming on. Also, too, you can check out my Twitter. It'll also give you an instant feed when I go live. It'll send you another notification through Twitter. Another way of uh, knowing if I go live. If you haven't, and you can also find me on Twitch. Another way of finding me. Let's take this over here. Your game just started lagging like hell. It can, man. It really, it really can. It depends on what you got running and how much stuff you have on your claim. Keep your claims as neat as possible. Keep everything bundled together right. Um, can I play that game? I've never heard of it. Don't know why you're five FPS. Um, probably the tier three, depending on what claim you're on to. Got that bucket. We got that bucket. Bucket. Probably fill up another one here with some water. Well, I don't know which bucket was which now, so that's kind of a bummer over there. It's alright, we'll just get total. My fucking hose go. Give me my damn hose! And I'll get all this figured out, you know, done and stuff like that. Get the rest of it done. We'll get a wash, we'll get a clean out area. Um, ready to go um, So that way we can you know everything can be ran a little bit better. This is just a real quick setup. We'll get the uh, clean out area good go All right Close to running this test here I'm actually not gonna be panning any of the dirt today I do have to take off here in a sec, guys. So, sorry I'm kind of rushed here at the end of the video. At the end of stream. Alright, let's turn the, uh, the rig on here. This is not going to be the final thing down here, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll change that. Um, all right, let's drop some little buckets. We'll see what we got out of these mats the little ones. So these are from the hog pans Out of the test hole See if we can't go hopefully we're at around maybe 10 ounces would be nice So hey, yeah, you guys are guessing the test all right guessing the test Well, we're over 10 11 nice that's promising that's promising. Ooh. We're gonna hit 15? Damn! Is this gonna put us up to 30? Oh, it's it's straight throwing heat right now. It's straight throwing heat. Oh, this is gonna be a good season here, boys. All in Rivertown. Come on, hit that 30. Hit that 30. Come on. Come on. Give us that 30. 31 <laughs> Those were at 37. Oh man, we're gonna throw some dirt. We're gonna, th we're gonna throw some pain out We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna destroy the shit out of this thing. All right. I don't know what I don't know if this is a gravel pump or not, but we're tossing it Oh baby look at that gold boys. Oh baby. This is just a test. We don't even know what was there. We're just gonna start slamming pay now. Tomorrow we're gonna crush out probably a thousand plus easy ounces. Go for a million dollar plus tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna bring it. We're gonna bring it down. We're gonna bring it down, boys. Oh my goodness. Hey, <laughs> had a nice test there, buddy. <laughs> Undo. Easy. Will there be 200 ounce gold via 2 hundo? Oh my goodness, look at that gold. Not a bad test, man. I must be on like a rich spot or something, dude. Damn. Freaking punch a freaking spot into a glory hole. 
Got some glory hole loving. Damn, boys. There's going to be some punishment going on. There's some heat in those buckets. Oh, we're definitely hitting two hundo. We're definitely hitting two hundo. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Too much gold. You were absolutely right. That hole was tight, yo. <laughs> that was a tight hole. Whew. Too much gold. 30 minutes of digging. That's ridiculous. We don't care. We're just, we're gonna blow this out, man. I, we're going for another freaking 100 mil. I don't have to give a shit, man. We're doing this. Yeah, Joel, I am. I just hardly talk in it anymore, man. I don't, uh, I don't really, um, go on to the, those forums and stuff. Oh my gosh. 235. Oh my gosh. That was, that was ridiculous. Damn, bro. All that out of this little hole over here? Holy shit, man. Well, um... Wow. Okay. So all of that came out of, um... This. Interesting. Okay, well... Tomorrow, it looks like I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna tomorrow what I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep cutting down the side here We're gonna wash we're gonna go down this way we're gonna keep cutting along the side here We're gonna do this we're gonna cut along here if it's paying out like that we're gonna we're gonna rip it out um Well, that was that was crazy. Uh, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow will be a live stream again. I will be on at twelve o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and I will be going till five o'clock tomorrow. So we will have a full five hours of digging. Full five hours of digging, guys. Um, we're gonna we're gonna dig, and we are going to absolutely crush the living shit out of this claim we're gonna try to we'll go for like we'll try to go for a couple thousand ounces easy we'll go we'll go we'll try to go for a thousand ounces we'll see what we can do tomorrow um we'll see how we can do we'll watch the we'll, we'll take shape we'll maybe cut out the claim we'll cut a little bit we'll flatten some of this out with the dozer and we'll get back in here and we'll just start pounding this out right because this is i can't keep this up i have to be able to get everything moved in here so with that being said guys i appreciate each and every one of you guys for coming in Hitting that like button, the subbing up, the donations, super chats, all that good stuff, guys. I really do appreciate the loving, guys. I will catch you guys tomorrow, normal time. With that being said, boys, much love. Get out there and mine. Hit on the pub. Join up on the Discord. Post up your, your mine. I want to see your guys' screenshots. Just post them in the general chat on the Discord. So that way we can take a look at your mine. It's always fun seeing how you guys mine and how you guys operate and what's on in your head. So... With that being said, guys, take it easy. Have fun. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Be safe out there. Much love. Peace.